Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the how erosional velocity could be reduced in piping sizing. When you do the line sizing for the gas phases, for the vapor, for multi-phase system or two-phase system, so how this erosional velocity could be reduced if it goes beyond the limit, right? So that we are going to discuss in this video. We will see like what are the different different method by which you can reduce the erosional velocity and how right so let's start the video so first of all we will discuss that what is erosional velocity and why we study it and why we consider it important right so what is erosional velocity erosional velocity is the maximum allowable fluid velocity in a piping system above which mechanical erosion of pipe wall means this wall right internal wall may occur especially when solid or droplets are pulgent in the flow now please consider that it is not a property of the fluid but a design limit as per the design code to prevent wear or thinning of pipe walls if it will happen so what will happen obviously the pipe could be rapture right so due to impingement of particles droplets or turbulent flow right i hope you understood the point it is not a property but it is a design limit if you will go beyond if your fluid velocity will go beyond it so what could happen the wear could happen thinning of pipe walls could happen right that's why the erosion could occur now this erosion can lead to pipe failure leaks and safety hazards over the time that's why whenever you will do the line sizing you will definitely check it out that what is your fluid velocity and what is your erosion velocity and your fluid velocity must be less than the your erosional velocity i hope you got the point now let's see that why erosional velocity matters and why erosional velocity important so first of all and most important that is safety okay so it helps us to prevent sudden failures and ruptures then reliability it increases the system lifespan and reduce maintenance if you will keep your velocity within the range okay and it should be less than the erosional velocity then obviously the cost effectiveness which avoid frequent repairs and unplanned shutdowns as well okay because of the vibrations and etc let's suppose if the if your pipe ruptures if the leakage happens okay and you cannot control that leakage so obviously you will have to take the shutdown then compliance okay it aligns with the industry best practices or you can say good engineering practice and design codes as well right so that's why this erosional velocity plays a very important role while sizing of the line now let's discuss that how you can reduce the erosional velocity so the first thing which you can do that is increase the pipe dia okay why if you will increase the pipe dia what will happen so see let's suppose your flow is constant so what is the continuity equation that is area into velocity okay and let's suppose the unit is cubic meter per second now if this is constant now if you will increase the area your velocity is going to reduce okay so what will be the effect if you increase the pipe dia when you increase the pipe dia obviously the it like like the cross sectional area will increase and which will reduce the fluid velocity and how it will help lower velocity reduces the kinetic energy of the particles okay and which and hitting the pipe walls will be reduced and your erosion will be reduced okay i hope you understood the point if the velocity will be reduced obviously your kinetic energy will be reduced right now the another point is select a 
lowered velocity design criteria what is the meaning of it so simply you can select a conservative velocity limits design whenever you do the line sizing please check it out that uh, what your design guide say okay let's for example for gas lines what velocity range you are considering right for liquid lines with solids what velocity range you are considering same you can refer the api 14e for recommended limits based on service which service you are using for example cooling water or liquid line and in liquid line which lines you are considering for steam line what velocity criteria you consider right and if you will see in api 14e it talks about the velocity or the maximum velocity that is v is equal to c 148 by rho the power 0 0.5 where this c is nothing but a empirical constant this rho is a fluid density in lb per fit cube this velo this is a velocity in fit per second okay so you can check it out from here and you have to keep your velocity below or your fluid velocity below this velocity right i hope you understood the point now next is avoid abrupt changes in direction or diameter this point is also very very important okay see you can use the long radius bands for example let's suppose if you want to use elbow you can use the long radius 90 degree elbow then gradual transition you can use and you can avoid sudden expansion or contraction let's suppose if there is one line and it reduces suddenly so what will happen so obviously your velocity will be increase here as compared to here right and if if it will be sudden so obviously the chances of erosional velocity to increase could be higher right then if you will do the say if you will avoid this abrupt changes so it can help you to reduce the turbulence and impingement that is also very important okay so you can first you can increase the pipe dia second you can select a lower design lower velocity design criteria right third you can use the avoid abrupt changes in direction or diameter now next is use erosional resistant materials or linings this is nothing but the which material you are using for your service that is okay so that you can simply check it out with your pms or with your material selection diagram which moc you have to use for which service okay and whatever the moc you will use that should be best with respect to erosion resistant material right for example for critical areas like for example elbows t use harder alloys or ceramic liners or cladding which will definitely help you to reduce your erosional velocity then control solid content okay so if handling slurries or solid laden fluids reduce the amount of solids via separators or filter in the upstream which will help you to control the solid content and if the solid content will be less your erosional velocity will be less okay you can use the strainers you can use the filters okay it depends based on the service to service okay so that's how also you can control the erosional velocity then you can use flow conditioners or flow straighteners what is the meaning of this see simply it helps you to maintain laminar or less turbulent flow if the turbulence will be high obviously your erosional velocity will be high or your fluid velocity will approach near to the erosional velocity okay so if you will maintain the see if you will use the flow conditioners so what will happen it will minimize your particle wall collisions right next is you can implement proper flow directions okay that is also very important okay see design system so that flow changes direction flow changes direction smoothly especially at a branch connections or equipment inlet if it will be 
let's suppose if it will be also abrupt okay so what will happen your erosional velocity of flashing will occur that will not be the stable or the right way to do i hope you got this point what i want to say so in this video we have discussed about the six point by which you can reduce the erosional velocity first one is increase pipe diameter second is select a lower velocity design criteria third is avoid abrupt changes in direction or diameter fourth is avoid abrupt changes in direction or diameter fifth is use erosion resistant materials or lining sixth is use erosion resistant material or lining right i hope and there is one point more that is implement flow proper flow direction okay so i hope you understood in this video what is erosional velocity why it is matters how you can reduce the erosional velocity okay which guy talks about it so if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box that's all for the today's video thanks for watching keep learning thank you